at the start of the anecdote A face of the news looking through his notes A rose in a retrograde motion In the end we will suffer like we Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Nightmare and I am the president of Attack Motorsports International Sim Racing Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at the race from Magior West. It was the manufacturer's point race <coughs> Excuse me. from a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, it, it's I, I didn't run Barcelona, I didn't run Fuji. Well, I did run Fuji, but that was a disaster. Um, Mostly, since I'm running the Alfa Romeo, I'm going to make, uh, I, I try my best to make sure that I'm running races where I'm not just going to be beating my head against the wall, not doing anything, you know, uh, just trying to make sure that I have races where I can be competitive. And this one for the 4C in the Group 4s, I knew I could be competitive. So I went with it uh, just to see what I could do. And at, right at the moment, doing pretty doggone well. I'm up to up to uh, third place here thoroughly enjoying things I thought maybe when I started this race that I would have a little bit of an advantage towards the end of the race because this car is so good on fuel I wouldn't have to fuel save at all um, where some of these guys were ha gonna have to fuel save and because I knew that my tires, if I took care of them, they're probably going to be better at the end of the race than a lot of these guys were, uh, as far as uh, their tires being in decent shape. I figured I'd get, get, I'd have better tire wear as long as I was easy. And I knew I wasn't going to have to have fuel, or going to have fuel issues. So, I knew, I, I mean, I qualified for so I was in good shape there. I figured I'd lose a few spots at the beginning of the race, maybe in the middle of the race, but I also thought that I would be able to gain some back at the end. You know, in the last five, six laps, I was thinking I should be able to uh, gain some of the spots that I lost back. But right now, I'm not really losing much of anything. Now that guy that's right behind me, Thunderbox, the first race I did he was behind me again. I started off fourth, but that time he wound up uh, hitting me pretty good. Well, I thought he had hit me pretty good in the Banky Boy up here on the second lap. But it turns out that he didn't. Fortunately, I didn't do anything uh, retaliatory or anything like that. So um, I, I. I've gotten to the point where a lot of times I will check the replay just to make sure. Um, like I said, in the race it seemed like he had maybe gotten me. But uh, when I watched the replay it turned out he really didn't. The the weird physics on uh, Gran Turismo, um, it looked like we may have gotten together. Uh, but I didn't feel anything, didn't hear anything. And so it was just the weird pinball, ping pong, whatever you want to call it, physics on this game, um, if he touched the, the, the hitbox a little bit, it may have uh, been what caused me to go around, but I really don't think it was. I think it was just a mistake on my part. It was really, really close, either way. Um, it c I could have gotten mad about it, but when I looked at it, <laughs> kind of figured it really wasn't worth getting mad about. Um, I didn't have a good finish, but I knew I could get a good finish, so that's why I got back into this race. That right there, that is a really tricky corner. Um, just because of the downhill uh, and how sharp it is, it's just a strange corner to, uh, to, to go into. 
let's do this stuff here, man. <laughs> I see I see that McLaren deciding he's gonna go out and and I just I don't know, man. It's see Thunderbox, I, I will say this, he is pretty aggressive. Um a little bit see it right there, he hit me twice, no apparent reason. Um, he was just being aggressive. I was staying on my line. I didn't come across in front of him. He's just really aggressive. So, I'm just thinking, you know what? I will let him go. Um, there's a little bit of space between him and the guy behind him. So, if he don't want to buy me that bad, I'll let him go. I mean, he is fast. I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from his uh, ability. But, man, he drives aggressive sometimes. That's why in that last race, in that first race, I thought he had got me. It's because of how aggressive he was driving through. But, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just a dive, and he made it stick, so... You know what? <laughs> More power to him. You go ahead and just have at it. I got a little bit of space back there. Um, so, from this point... Not a whole lot actually happens. Uh, he stays ahead of me, gains a little bit of time. I don't lose anything, so uh, I'm going to skip ahead here just a bit. All right, so we've skipped ahead a few laps here um, to about the 12-minute mark in the race. And, uh, yeah, well, 12-minute mark in the race, like, whatever, I got to where I needed to be. Um, so, yeah, I lose another position here to this guy in the Subaru. Again, I, I figured I was going to lose a few spots just because of the lack of power in this 4C going up the hill. And, um, I, I, I was sure that I was going to lose some spots. But I'm only two down from where I started. So I'm not too awfully upset here. As you can see on the Delta here, oh, well, not the Delta, but the info box down here at the bottom. My tires are still in really good shape. So, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right here. Get a nice big slide coming out of that corner and I just totally jacked that. I did not block that guy. He just wound up running into the back of me. I'm not sure whether he just didn't know which way to go or what the problem was. But Okay, so I lose another spot here. And now, this guy, Ace Hunter. We kind of, I, 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 yeah, you'll see coming up here. It's just um, a, a strange situation, I'll put it that way. I mean, he's gaining on me. But watch this. Watch this. This is from his perspective. Is there any room there? No. Okay? So, we'll go back up to my perspective here. I want you to remember that there was no room there. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Um, because for the time being, you know, him and I have a pretty good race. Um, it, it, it's... He's got that Corvette, and that Corvette is strong. And I'm sitting here in my little underpowered 4C just trying to hold people off and kind of not let the guys in front of me get too far away. By the way, guys, if you like the video, uh, please hit that like button. That'll definitely help out the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're so inclined and you're not already subscribed. That would be awesome. Um, you know, leave me a comment. If you think I could do something better, uh, if you think my delivery is kind of dull, or if you like the way I deliver things, or what, you know, whichever the case may be, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, let me know. Um, I'm always up for some constructive criticism. Um, if you get start getting mean about it, I'll just... <laughs> ignore you, block you, whatever the case may be. But I, I think you guys, um, it's, now Ace Hunter right here, he makes a pretty good move. I'm not going to complain about that at all. But then he's a little slow coming off the corner.
So again, as you see, I took that same line, but I got myself a penalty. So, alright, well, um, I got a little bit too far inside on that corner. Alright, I'll accept that. Um, I don't fault. Barry turns down on me, which I think is pretty much the beginning of all the garbage that comes up here. But I don't understand. That was, you know, nothing that I did. He turned down on me that time. Uh, maybe he didn't have his radar on. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have this penalty coming up here, and it is a not... It's not a good good penalty to have. It was just a dumb thing on my part. I should have backed off a little bit. But I didn't. My mistake. But this is going to give uh, Ace Hunter a chance to get right back up on my bumper. Yeah, as you can see, there he comes. So I go defensive. Um, you know, go to the inside, make him take the outside ar around. So we're going to go back to his perspective. He gets a good run on me coming out of the corner here. But I want you to watch this. Is there any room right here? Any room at all? No. None. It's a garbage move on his part. And now, he's kind of mad because I got back on track before he did. And apparently, he took umbrage to the fact that he tried to squeeze his car into a spot where there was no room. Um, there was no place to go for him on that, that move. It was just a, a stupid move. I've raced this guy before, never had that kind of issue with him. But apparently this time, he just had a brain fade or something and thought he was in a smaller car or driving a pencil or some sh you know, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. But now, watch this. This is, this is nice. This is real nice. Because of that contact back there. Bang! Pushes me off into the wall. Solid punt. Just straight up. Brutal. So now, at this point, I am really, <laughs> really not happy. Number one, he made a bullshit move going up the hill. <clears throat> Number two, excuse me, he makes another move like that in turn one. Okay, so now my entire goal is to push him off. But, fortunately, it takes me a little while to catch back up to him. Enough to really worry about. He got himself a penalty for hitting me, so now he's back right in front of me again. So I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> should I punt him? Should I just repay him for doing what he did to me? But I knew that even though I'm in the 4C, I have the better car. I really truly do. I have the better car. Because I'm going to get better tire wear and better fuel mileage. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So I have decided at this point that I'm not going to punt him. I'm just going to drive around him. But see, <laughs> you're about to witness somebody get real nervous about what they did. Because watch this. He sees I'm behind him. He just ducks over to the side really, really quick. <laughs> and I, right at this point, I'm kind of chuckling because he has no idea that I'm not going to punt him. He just, he doesn't know. Um, he's expecting me to retaliate. I've just, I've decided not to. So, yeah, he got kind of nervous right there. Which, I enjoy the fact that I made him nervous. I enjoy the fact that he thought I was going to pay him back. I, I could have. A lot of people might say I should have. Um, if you think I did the right thing there, guys, let me know in the comments, seriously. Um, if you think I should have punted him in retaliation, let me know that too. Um, I just, at this point, I chose not to. I'm right back behind him again. I'm not too far off. I know I'm going to catch him. I know I've got the better car. So, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it'll be, it'll be fun.
So yeah, as we come around this last turn here, you can see, you can see I'm gaining on him. His tires are just a little bit more worn than mine. So, I'm catching him. I'm slowly but surely gaining on him. Just kind of reeling him in, taking my time, being patient. I was hoping I could be fighting for a podium, but... Uh, you know, that's just not going to happen at this point. Got, uh, like, six laps left. So, <laughs> right now my goal is to get into the top ten and harass this guy while I'm, while I'm at it. Little by little, I'm gaining on him. And I tell you what, real soon here, my little 4C is going to get awfully big in that rear view mirror. So now I gotta kinda wonder what's going through his head because I didn't punt him when I had the first opportunity. Uh, you know, I, I bet he's thinking I probably should have, but now he doesn't know if I'm gonna retaliate or not. Uh, he's really, really not sure now. He was nervous before, but now he just doesn't have a clue whether I'm gonna get him or not. But see, now I'm right up on his bumper, and we're going to the straightaway that goes to Big Banky Boy. So, I thought he got nervous before, watch this. Yeah, he decided he wanted no part of it. <laughs> he was, I guess he was thinking I was going to nail him going into Banky Boy. Uh, but I chose not to do that too. So, yeah, uh, I've gained ninth. So now we're going to jump ahead into the race a little bit more. Alright, so we pick things up back here. Uh, gonna go through the last three laps. Um, gotten away from Ace Hunter. <laughs> He's falling back to 12th. Uh, yeah. I, I, I spent the last couple of laps. Oh, whoa, we got somebody around going, uh, Chinovaris. Um, not sure what happened to him there. Uh, but that corner is, is, is like I said, it's tricky. Um, hey, real quick, guys. I want to say we are sponsored by... I I am sponsored by the Boogie Box. I keep saying we because I'm also the voice on all of our team videos. Um, I'm sponsored by the Boogie Box today. Uh, Rick has made some really, really cool attack merchandise. You do not have to be a team member to buy this stuff. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will have there will be a promo code there uh, to get a discount on any attack motorsports merchandise product. This is really cool stuff, not your normal hats and t-shirts. Um, we got everything from beer signs to coasters. Everything can be customized with your name on it. Um, so yeah, uh, he also does chainmail stuff, uh, laser etched acrylic, so he's got all kinds of stuff that you guys can get. Uh, but we do have a promo code for our attack merchandise. And as always, I want to thank Enox. Um, Roy was kind, and I, kind enough to let me use the music from uh, Enox, and they have a new single out called Fade. They've also got some new stuff coming out over the next few weeks um, in preparation for a new album to come out. Uh, so go buy their spot, go check out their Spotify, guys. It's uh, very, very cool stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah. Having said all that now, um, yeah, you can see I'm gaining on 8th and 7th here pretty solid. Um, this is a case where I knew that, um, th this is why I was confident that the 4C would be so good around here, uh, because of the tire wear and fuel situation. Some of these guys have to save a little bit of fuel, um, their tires are a little more worn than mine because their cars are so much heavier, um, but I don't have to do any of that, I don't have to worry about any of that, I can just drive, and that's why I love this little car. Don't get me wrong, it's tricky to drive, um, but once you figure it out, man, you, you have some pretty good advantages. So I've got 8, 7, and 6 right in front of me, and, you know, over the next couple of laps, I'm hoping I can 
hopefully I can get by all three of them. Um, that would, uh, not really make up. Well, those two just decided to take each other out. Now you got this guy here. Um, he, this is the guy that got by me earlier, and I was not upset about it, because I knew, like I said, he's in that Subaru the tire wear is not going to be great. Um, so, yeah. But now, I'm settled into, uh, sixth place here. Uh, there's no chance of catching up to, uh, the top five. Um, unfortunately, I think I could have had a pretty good shot at top five, had, uh, not had that little run-in with Ace Hunter. Um, but yeah, I mean... I got the enjoyment of making him kind of twitchy, um, because he did something really stupid and then decided to retaliate against me for him doing something stupid, which is fun. Um, but yeah, for me, this was a really, really good race. Uh, I'm going to take this result, man. I got 122 points out of this race. Um, that's not my personal best, but it's close. Uh, I think 134 was my personal best, and that was three, four seasons ago. So I'm going to take this result, man. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, this guy in the Subaru, uh, Franco Silva, he's not going away, though, <laughs> and he's, he's making my life, uh, difficult for the time being. A little bump there, kind of, I mean, it's just, he's, he's definitely harassing me. I got kind of fortunate there. I slid the car into the corner, but didn't wind up getting a penalty. I got really lucky, I think. All right, guys. Uh, I definitely appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you liked what you see, hit that like button, man. It'll help out my channel immensely. So, uh, yeah, I pick up a sixth place. Um, and on that note, until next time, everybody, this is Nightmare. Peace. Retrograde motion With the end we will suffer like we should